morning students uh, today we will discuss about emulsions okay in that emulsion we will cover definition of the emulsion some pharmaceutical example of the emulsion and type of emulsion and identification test of the emulsion and pharmaceutical application of the emulsion next theories of emulsification okay these are all the topics today we will cover okay shall we move yes Emulsion. Definition of the emulsion. An emulsion is a bibasic liquid dosage form containing two immiscible liquids, usually oil in water, one of which is dispersed as minute globules in the other liquid that is stabilized by adding an emulsifying agent. Okay. Simple. There is the two immiscible liquids that the two immiscible liquids mixed with the help of the emulsifying agent then it formed the emulsion that's it this is called a emulsion next second definition an emulsion is a thermodynamically unstable system consisting of at least two immiscible liquid phases one of which is dispersed as globules in other liquid phase stabilized by the presence of an emulsifying agents okay another definition an emulsion or by basic systems where immiscible liquid is finely subdivided and uniformly dispersed as droplets throughout another liquid with the help of emulsifier or emulsifiers okay see that is the uh, basis in emulsion okay one liquid is present as droplet distributed throughout the other liquid so there is the two phases okay so that uh, dispersed phase particle size range from 0.1 to 100 micrometer okay the dispersed liquid is known as the internal or discontinuous phase whereas the dispersion medium is known as the external or continuous phase simple see this is very very important concept you have to listen carefully okay the dispersed phase or you can call the internal phase or you can call the discontinuous phase okay next the dispersion medium you can call the external phase or you can call the continuous phase okay that's it this is the phases of the emulsions okay some example of the pharmaceutical emulsions in that uh, yeah so many pharmaceutical examples is there uh, like uh, oral emulsion, cosmetic emulsion, parenteral emulsion, then diagnostic emulsion. Okay, uh, these uh, like uh, pharmaceutical emulsions available in the market. In that, uh, we'll see the some examples. One is cod liver oil, the another one castor oil. These things oral emulsions. Okay, then cosmetic emulsion, vanishing cream, cold cream, calamine lotion. Yes, I think you know very uh, well. Uh, cold cream and calamine lotion everyone should know the calamine lotion and cold cream i think okay then parental emulsion fat soluble vitamins a d e and some sex hormones the next diagnostic emulsion radio opaque emulsion for x-rays these are all the some pharmaceutical examples of the pharmaceutical emulsions okay type of emulsion see simple emulsion multiple emulsion and micro emulsion simple emulsion it contains one internal phase okay so in that oil in water type of emulsion and water in oil type of emulsion next multiple emulsion it contains two internal phases one is oil in water in oil see first you have to consider these things oil in water type of emulsion and oil okay the second one water in oil in water emulsion see first you have to consider water in oil and water emulsion okay this is called multiple emulsion because they have the two internal phases next micro emulsion okay because based on the global size we can call the micro emulsion next multiple emulsion can be used 
to delay the release or to increase the stability of the active component okay okay see this is the pictorial representation of the type of emulsion okay the first one oil in water type emulsion so in that you have to consider oil is inside and surrounded by the water so this is called oil in water type of emulsion see here oil is the internal phase water is the external phase that's it here see here water in oil type of emulsion so water is internal phase surrounded by oil so the oil is external base. So this is, this is called a water in oil type of emulsion. Okay, then come here. This is water in oil, water emulsion. So how we can pronounce water in oil, water emulsion. Okay, so why? Because already I said, see, multiple emulsion mean there is the two internal phases. Okay, so then only we can call multiple emulsion. So here, see here. Water in oil consider as the internal phase, then water is the external phase. So we have to call water in oil water emulsion. Next here, see here, oil in water oil emulsion. Okay, why we have called like that? See here, oil in water consider as the internal phase and surrounded by oil. This is external phase. So this emulsion called oil in water oil emulsion that's it okay this is the pictorial representation of for easy understanding of type of emulsions next yeah see difference between the oil in water and water in oil emulsion so first one oil in water emulsion so here oil is dispersed waste, water is dispersion medium. Why? Oil surrounded by water. So it is called oil in water type of emulsion. Next, in oil in water type of emulsion, uh, commonly they are non-greasy. Then they are used mostly internal to mask the taste and water. Examples, Scott emulsion, Frilax emulsion, and Dulax emulsions. Yes, there is external preparation also, oil in water type. Uh, to provide cooling effect, example vanishing cream. This vanishing cream may be you learned in first semester about vanishing cream. Okay, see. Next, uh, water soluble drugs are mostly uh, more quickly released from oil in water type of emulsion. See, water soluble drugs are more quickly released from the oil in water type of emulsion why the water is continuous phase so the water soluble drugs more quickly released from the oil in water type of emulsion that's it then they are preferred for formulation meant for internal use as bitter taste of oils can be masked yes just now i taught to you yes then Oil in water type of emulsion gives a positive conductivity test as water is the external phase which is a good conductor of electricity. See, no problem. Uh, uh, clearly, we can uh, uh, discuss about the oil in water type of emulsion identification test. Okay. In that uh, topic, we can see clearly. No issue. So, simple thing. Oil in water type of emulsion mean electricity will conduct that's it okay you have to learn the things only why because water is a good conductor that's it so come here yes water in oil type of emulsion see oil is the dispersion medium and water is the dispersed phase see here water is the dispersed phase see here oil is the dispersion medium why water surrounded by oil then only we can call this one water in oil emulsion okay next they are greasy and non-water washable okay then they are used externally to prevent the evaporation of moisture from the surface of the skin example cold cream see this cold cream preparation also already you learned in the first semester maybe okay uh, see 
uh, here i have to clarify one thing oil in water type of emulsion mostly internal purpose but there is the external uh, preparation also but mostly internal preparation uh, while uh, water in oil emulsion mostly external preparation okay you have to consider these important point only next oil soluble water sorry oil soluble drugs are more quickly released from water in oil emulsions okay why because oil is dispersion medium okay the water surrounded by the oil so if oil soluble drugs yes obviously are more quickly released from water in oil type of emulsion that's it okay then they are preferred for formulation meant for external use like creams already i said okay then water in oil type of emulsion does not give uh, bulb glow mean that is it will not conduct the electricity why because continuous space is here oil so it will not conduct the electricity next yeah determination that is identification of the emulsion type what type of emulsion you have you can identify you can determine easily with the help of these test okay first one dilution test second one dye test or staining test third one electrical conductivity test fourth one fluorescent test fifth one filter paper test okay yeah we'll see the first dilution test okay what do you mean by dilution test you know already what do you mean by dilute simple thing you have something you have to dilute to one then if dilute or not you have to check it here okay i will explain see a small amount of emulsion is examined upon unlimited dilution with water this may cause two facts see in you have a beaker yes in that beaker you have a an emulsion you don't know which type of emulsion inside the beaker you don't know so that one only you have to go find out with the help of dilution test okay now we'll start if the emulsion remaining stable it is oil in water type of emulsion if the emulsion does not remain stable it is water in oil type of emulsion why simple thing see if oil in water type of emulsion oil is surrounded by the water so if add more water sure it will not affect the nature of the emulsion so you can identify easily this is oil or water or water in oil if stable that is oil in water type of emulsion easy if not that is if affect it will affect the nature of the emulsion so this is not a uh, oil in water type of emulsion maybe that is a uh, water in oil type of emulsion you can identify easily okay yeah next yeah dye solubility or staining test okay see a small amount of emulsion is mixed with scarlet red or methylene blue with volatile oil and examined under microscope okay see if you take scarlet red or methylene blue why we take these two things scarlet red uh, dissolve in oil uh, methylene blue dissolve in aqueous mean water okay so we have to choose these two things uh, yeah if dispersed globules appear red it is oil in water type of emulsion as scarlet red is soluble in oil but not in water just now i discussed to you okay then if dispersed globules appear blue it is water in oil type of emulsion as methylene blue is soluble in water but not in oil see easy uh, simple thing neenga vand scarlet red methylene blue methylene blue na water la mattum da soluble aagum scarlet red na oil paste la mattum da soluble aagum avladha that's it so ipo oru sample irukku and the emulsion vandu ungalku enna nu theriyala adu oil in water water in oil la theriyala ipo neenga enna pandringa methylene blue vandu adu add pandringa appo methylene blue add pannum bodu adu vandu miscible aayiduchi appadina adu oil in water type of emulsion 
ஏன் மெத்லின் ப்ளூ வாட்டர்ல மட்டும்தான் சாலபிள் ஆகும் சோ யூ கேன் ஐடென்டிஃபை ஈஸிலி திஸ் இஸ் ஆயில் இன் வாட்டர் டைப் ஆஃப் இமல்ஷன் தட்ஸ் இட் அதே மாதிரி ஸ்கேர்லெட் ரேட் எடுத்துக்கோங்க நீங்க டிசால்வ் பண்ணுங்க உங்களுக்கு டிசால்வ் ஆச்சு அப்படின்னா தட் இஸ் வாட்டர் இன் ஆயில் டைப் ஆஃப் இமல்ஷன் ஏன் பிகாஸ் வாட்டர் சரண்டட் பை த ஆயில் சோ ஸ்கேர்லெட் ரேட் ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம என்ன சொல்லியிருக்கோம் இது ஆயில மட்டும்தான் டிசால்வ் ஆகும்னு சொல்லிருக்கோம் So you you can identify easily whether this emulsion oil in water or water in oil with the help of the dyes. Okay, next. Yeah, next third one. Electrical conductivity test. If the electrical electricity is passed through the emulsion, it is oil in water type of emulsion as water is a good conductor of electricity whereas oil is non conductor and the result is absorbed by lightning therefore the continuous space of water runs electricity more than the continuous space of oil may, may, may not pass okay conduct electrical conduction okay you see here if you have an emulsion uh, you don't know the emulsion whether oil in water type or water in oil type you don't know okay now we have to go for check it we can find out simple thing see in your emulsion you have to place the two electrode connected with the bulb and the switch okay this is the assemble so now switch on the assembly if the bulb glows it means it will indicate the oil in water type of emulsion you have why because oil surrounded by water so the water is the good conductor of the electricity so you can easily identify this type emulsion oil in water type of emulsion if not the bulb doesn't glow you can identify easily this emulsion water in oil type of emulsion that is electrical conductivity test okay see next fourth one fluorescent test okay many oils gives fluorescence under uv light okay while water doesn't therefore oil in water type of emulsion shows uh, spotty pattern while water in oil type of emulsion fluorescence simple thing ungalku emulsion edukringa emulsion vandu oru chinna petri dish liyo illa oru slide liyo drop pandringa டிரா பண்ணிட்டு யூவி லைட்டுக்கு கீழே கொண்டு போய் வைக்கிறீங்க ஸோ அப்போ வைக்கும் போது உங்களால யூவி லைட்ல வந்து புளோரசன்ஸ பார்க்க முடிஞ்சதுன்னா தட் இமல்ஷன் எஸ் வாட்டரின் ஆயில் டைப் ஆஃப் இமல்ஷன் ஒய் ஜஸ்ட் நவ் ஐ சைட் ஆயில் இஸ் அ புளோரசன்ஸ் நேச்சர் அண்டர் த யூவி லைட் ஸோ யூ கேன் ஐடென்டிஃபை ஈஸிலி வெதர் த எமல்ஷன் யூ ஹாவ் தட் இஸ் ஆயில் இன் வாட்டர் டைப் ஆர் வாட்டர் இன் ஆயில் டைப் ஆஃப் எமல்ஷன் வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் த புளோரசன்ஸ் டெஸ்ட் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் yeah fifth one filter paper test this filter paper test simple yeah filter paper is treated with cobalt chloride and when dried it turns blue so now you have a filter paper in the color of blue okay so now one or two drops of the sample is placed on the filter paper and observed if the color change to pink then it is oil in water type of emulsion if there is no change in color then it is water in oil type of emulsion that's it okay then pharmaceutical applications of emulsions what are all the pharmaceutical application of emulsion see first one to mask the bitter taste may unpleasant taste and odor of drugs example castor oil cod liver oil see simple nga oru mean enna nu solluvanga ungalala and the mean enna ye smell kuda panni paaka mudiyadu avvalo oru bad odor vandu varum adile okay va ungalke theriyum oru mean romba alhi pona enna smell varum appdi solittu adha vida pala madanga and oil la irukum சோ உங்களால நார்மலா ஸ்மெல் பண்ண முடியாது டேஸ்ட் பண்ண முடியாது சோ அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கிற ப்ரிப்பரேஷனை 
கன்வெர்ட் பண்ணி நாம என்ன பண்றோம் எமல்ஷனா குடுக்கிறோம் அப்ப எமல்ஷனா கன்வெர்ட் பண்ணும் போது அந்த பிட்டர் டேஸ்டும் அந்த ஓடரும் மாஸ்க் ஓகே மாஸ்ட் சோ அது மறைக்கிறது சோ ஈஸியா நம்மளால வந்து அந்த ப்ரிப்பரேஷனை எமல்ஷன் ப்ரிப்பரேஷனை எடுத்துக்க முடியும் ஸ்பெசிபிக்கா இந்த மாதிரியான எமல்ஷன்ஸ் எல்டர் பேஷண்ட்டுக்கும் ஈவன் மெயினா சில்ட்ரன்ஸுக்கு வந்து ப்ரிஃபரபிள் ஒன் ஓகே எவ்ரி ஒன் ஷுட் ஈவன் தோ மோர் ப்ரிஃபரபிள் இன் சில்ட்ரன்ஸ் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆயில் இன் வாட்டர் டைப் ஆஃப் எமல்ஷன் இஸ் கன்வீனியன்ட் மீன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஓரலி அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் வாட்டர் இன்சாலிபிள் லிக்யூட் சி வாட்டர் இன்சாலிபிள் லிக்யூட்ஸ் இஸ் தேர் பட் ஈவன் தோ we can give a type of emulsion oil in water type of emulsion that is easy to oral administration next third one oil in water type of emulsion so this oil in water type of emulsion facilitate the absorption of water insoluble compound the same thing so there is the compound water insoluble so now convert in the oil in water type of emulsion then it will facilitate the absorptions okay next comparing their oily solution preparation for example uh, vitamins if you give the emulsion type that is more suitable that's it next oil soluble drugs can be given parenterally in the form of oil in water type of emulsion example paclitaxel paclitaxel nothing but is a anti cancer drugs okay then Emulsion can be used for the external application in cosmetic and therapeutic uses. Yes, already we discussed in type of emulsion also. In some example of the pharmaceutical emulsion in initial slides we see now. Yes, that's also yes, mentioned this one. Cosmetics preparations and therapeutic uses of the emulsions. Next. they can be used to prolong the release of the drug and thereby provide the sustained action not only by sustained release see if you give a preparation in emulsion for the parenteral preparation it will give the prolonged use and controlled release sustained release uh, it will extend the therapeutic action also okay therapeutic action and the uh, duration of action also extended with the help of the emulsion preparation okay next oral rectal and topical administration of the oils and soluble drugs okay next the absorption and penetration of medicament are enhanced by the emulsification see i already discussed to you here two immiscible liquids with the help of emulsifying agent only the emulsification with the help of emulsification process only form emulsion form emulsion okay emulsion formed so the absorption and the penetration of the medicament also enhanced with the help of the emulsification process okay next the intramuscular injection of the water soluble drugs or vaccine to provide slow release i'll just now i discussed so maybe it will take the duration of the action long prolonged maybe uh, one month or uh, uh, six month or uh, one year like that may possible to prolong okay next essential nutrients like carbohydrate fat vitamins can all be emulsified and can be administered to bedridden patient as a sterile intravenous emulsion see the bedridden patient not possible to take another route so only iv route okay so like that uh, a patient we can give a yeah, nutrients like carbohydrate fat vitamins as in the form of emulsions okay and the form of emulsion especially for intravenous emulsion okay so these are all the application of the pharmaceutical emulsions see yeah see theories of emulsification okay uh, what are all the theories in emulsification first one viscosity theory the second one film theory or adsorption theory third one wedge theory fourth one interfacial tension theory okay that is the uh, theories of emulsification okay the film theory or adsorption theory may be subdivided into monomolecular adsorption theory multimolecular adsorption theory solid particle adsorption theory okay no issue we will discuss 
one by one. Okay. Yeah. See, viscosity theory. As per this viscosity theory, an increase in viscosity of an emulsion will lead to an increase in stability. Simple thing, yeah. உங்களுடைய எமர்ஜென்ட் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன்ல விஸ்காசிட்டியை நீங்க இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணீங்கன்னா ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும்ன்றாங்க தட்ஸ் இட் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் விஸ்காசிட்டி தியரி ஓகே பட் திஸ் தியரி ஃபெயில்டு டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் த மில்க் விச் ஷோஸ் த கன்சிடபிள் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஈவன் தோ இட்ஸ் விஸ்காசிட்டி ஈஸ் லெஸ் இப்ப நம்ம என்ன சொன்னோம் விஸ்காசிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகுது ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகும்ன்றோம் ஆனா நம்ம மில்க் எடுத்துக்கிட்டோம்னா அதுக்கு வந்து கன்சிடபிள் நம்ம என்னன்னா மில்கோடைய விஸ்காசிட்டி மொரார்லஸ் கம்மியா தான் இருக்கும் ஈவன் தோ கன்சிடபிள் ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி இருக்குது அப்படிங்கும் போது இந்த தியரியை ஏத்துக்கலாமா ஏத்துக்க முடியாதா அப்படிங்கிறது ஒரு கொஸ்டின் மார்க்கா இருக்கு தட்ஸ் இட் ஓகே இன் திஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டு கிளாரிஃபை ஐ டிட் மென்ஷன் ஒன் திங் ஐ ஹவ் டு கிளாரிஃபை அனதர் ஒன் திங் த சேம் விஸ்காசிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் த ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி இன்க்ரீஸ் மீ லைக் தட் இஃப் யூ இன்க்ரீஸ் த ஜீட்டா பொட்டென்ஷியா ஆஃப் யுவர் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் த ஸ்டெபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் த ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ஆல்சோ இட் வில் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் ஓகே சி ஹியர் This is film theory or adsorption theory. As per this theory, the added emulsifying agent forms a mechanical film by getting adsorption at the interface of the liquid. What do you mean by interface? Nothing but interface between the disposed globules and the dispersion medium. Yes, already we discussed there is the two phases, uh, two immiscible phases. Okay, in between the gap is called interface of the the two immiscible liquid maybe that is a dispersed phase and a dispersion medium okay and offers stability to an emulsion see as per the film theory uh, if added emulsifying agent the stability of the emulsion will increase okay that's it however this theory could not explain the formation of type of emulsion that is a drawback okay next see in adsorption theory subdivided into monomolecular adsorption theory with the help of surfactant or emulsifying agent and another multi molecular adsorption theory with the help of hydrophilic colloids next solid particle adsorption theory with the help of finely divided solid particles okay see here this is the pictorial representation of the adsorption theory uh, nothing but uh, monomolecular film monomolecular adsorption theory with the help of surface active agents see here uh this is uh, oil phase this is aqueous phase this is emulsifying agents see here emulsifying agent polar head non polar tail so with the help of uh, emulsifying agent uh, the two immiscible liquids convert into miscible liquids okay this is called monomolecular adsorption theory next multi molecular adsorption theory with the help of hydrophilic colloids the same thing but with the help of uh, hydrophilic colloids instead of uh, surface active agents that's it uh, yeah two immiscible liquid convert into uh, miscible liquids that's it then uh, finely divided solid particles see here particulate film same like instead of uh, this emulsifying agent or this hydrophilic colloids here uh, particle particulate film okay with the help of particulate film two immiscible liquids convert into the miscible liquids that's it okay uh yeah this uh, collected from uh, one book uh, this is uh, also collected from another book the elsevier publication book gaurav uh, kumar jain books okay the theory and uh, practice of uh, physical pharmacy okay next wedge theory next see wedge theory this is a very interesting theory according to this theory monovalent soap like uh, sodium stearate gives oil in water type of emulsion and divalent soap like calcium stearate gives water in oil type of emulsion uh, see this was explained by successfully accommodation of soap molecules to give the type of emulsion but this is also have some drawback could not explain couldn't explain the stability of the emulsion see simple thing here if monovalent soap like the sodium stearate it will gives oil in water type of emulsion see if you take two immiscible liquids added in the uh, sodium stearate because sodium stearate is a monovalent soap as emulsifying agent you consider as a emulsifying agent so if you added this type of uh, emulsifying agent it gives oil in water type of emulsion whereas the calcium stearate because this is the divalent soap if you consider as a emulsifying agent if you add in uh, 
to immiscible liquids it will form it will give water in oil type of emulsion okay simple this is called a wedge theory but even though it couldn't explain the stability of the emulsion type of emulsion you can identify easily okay here but uh, stability of the emulsion we can't okay from the help of this theory that is the drawback okay thank you students thank you for your cooperation okay we will uh, see the uh, next class the remaining topics okay thank you